So I am leaving the office for the day, heading home um, and in the city right now, thinking I may stop to get maybe some dinner or maybe a little snack or something before I head back home. So we'll see what New York has to offer. It's still a little daylight out here. so. Maybe I might stop in a few places to see what's going on um, and then head back home. So let's check out the city um, on a Tuesday. <laughs> on a Tuesday um, and see what's going on, guys. So let me get up out of here. It's cold. I'm trying to bundle up. And um, I'll see you guys in a bit um, when I get to my next destination or we'll see what happens, okay? So I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey, what's going on guys? So, <clears throat> I'm back. Uh, so, I was going to stop somewhere in the city to get some food or something like that, but it's cold outside. So I just wanted to hurry up and get home and um, get, um, get into the warmth and stuff like that. Um, so, I just thought maybe I'll just take an opportunity to do something a little different. I said, uh, I gave a little commentary on my last um, video. I thought I'd give some commentary or do some like chat, uh, like a little chat in this video uh, because there's a lot of stuff that's been happening in the news, <laughs> in entertainment news. Um, there's always something happening in the news, but I'm gonna talk about some semi-exciting news. Uh, in, their, in entertainment news, I guess you can say, but regardless of what, however you feel about it, child people is, is, is uh, running amok on the internet, okay? So, I've been on the internet, um, on YouTube and stuff like that while I was posting my videos, stuff like that, because you know I'm really trying to um, <laughs> get the videos up for the month of December. And a couple of videos uh, I've been watching specifically from a couple of content creators. One is ac academic. Shout out to academics. I know a lot of people don't really care for ac academics. But I like academics. I met him. I mean, I didn't personally met him, but I came across him online when he was on Everyday Struggle with Joe Budden. And I love Joe Budden. Joe Budden is like the reason um why i even wanted to start like podcasting and 
getting on the mic and just kind of just doing some of the journalistic things that I just, you know, wanted to do. And the reason why I went to college, I went to basically went to college for journalism. Um, and so just watching Joe Budden's um, uh, moves and how he just kind of like navigated through things. Um, just his whole career just basically like inspired me to like, I need to get off my butt and kind of do stuff because that's what I basically went to school for, uh, which is uh, broadcast journalism. Um, and so now is uh, the most greatest time to really just live out your wildest dreams and just go for whatever you want because now there's no barrier to entry, nor is there any, um, um, higher uppers blocking you from, you know, doing what you want to do. Um, uh, thankfully for the internet, um, and the web. So I'm really appreciate, uh, that I'm able to live during this time to really just tackle all the things that I want to do, even though it's independently and it takes some time to kind of, uh, get things, you know, uh, off the ground, especially if you're, you know, doing with your own funds, no one's like backing you up. No one's handing you any money, doing any, you know, giving you the financial means to like do so. Um, you still have the opportunity to do something with whatever you got. So I'm very appreciate, appreciative of that. So because of that, I got uh, back into the uh, uh, entrepreneurial space more and content creation. I've been uh, doing that for quite a bit. So yeah, so I um, been watching academics and some other content creators just really just going over, um, not just going over, but like, looking at um some of the things that they're covering like academics for the last um for a while now has been covering uh on and off the whole megan and tory lane's um trial and really just um giving a breakdown um from his point of view and his sources um basically just from his vantage point um in regards to uh what he thinks about the trial and also um and also how he thinks everything will go down so i found it very very um interesting um that we now come into the what is this the finale of this whole saga of megan tory um but i found it more interesting that academics was doing a collab um video with um a young woman by the name of malagro grams i hope i said the name right but she goes by mob radio on, on internet on youtube um so i want to show you some of the conversations that they had because it was a great conversation she really just broke down some stuff so let me let me show you off of the initial statements right so it's an opening statements by both the prosecutor and also tory's defense who do you mm -hmm. think made a bigger impact only off like before they called the detective or whatever who do you think because i think that's all that's very important yeah let me tell you who to me made a bigger impact and none, nothing i'm gonna say is biased these facts y'all know who i'm rooting for but these facts um the defense did simply yeah. because every, the, the, the thing that keep on tripping up megan and her people is the omission of facts when you leave these things out and then the defense is able to come in and paint that picture you're looking crazy. And that's what happened. Hey, let me, let me ask you another question, too. Did the prosecutor really start there? Because that's what we heard. That they start their um, opening statements by not even painting any picture of what happened at a party. They just said, oh, Tori was in an argument with, with Meg about his music skills. And, like, that just seems very thin. That don't seem like it got the whole shit. Let me go to... I got so many motherfucking notes. They um they did paint a picture. That's not true. They painted a picture. They filled gaps. They absolutely did, did. Did the picture include anything that happened at the party? Yes. They they um mentioned an incident that took place at the party. They didn't go into details, but they said that um Kelsey spe uh, Kylie specifically asked Megan to get the fuck out. Not in those words, but she said it's time for you to go. The prosecutor said that? Oh, not the prosecutor. You, oh, the defense. The prosecutor. The pro, I'm sorry. Yes, the prosecutor. They did paint the picture, but they left out so much shit that it was they were regurgitating what Megan had told basically everybody on the Instagram lives and all of it. Mm. The only thing the prosecution said in opening statements was that she did have a sexual relationship with him. How, how did that, you know, you're... 
listen, that tea is just piping hot. I mean, that is crazy that what's taking place. I mean, I had to pour me a glass of wine for this one, okay? No, this is not real wine. It's um, non-sparkling wine um, from a brand called De Soleil. Um, it is co-founded by our favorite girl, Katy Perry. Uh, she uh, partnered up with uh, uh, another uh, person to come up with this uh, non-alcoholic wine called De Soleil. It's so cute. Um, it come, right now, they just have like three different flavors. Uh, this flavor that I have, and I'll show you guys the bottle. Um, the flavor that I have, I'm trying to be like super like safe. <laughs> um, yeah. Here's the brand. Okay. Um, they have um, three different versions of the sparkling non-alcoholic uh, aperitif. Aperitif, I think that's how you say it. Um, this one is uh, made with a rishi uh, mushroom, passion flower, l lactin derived from green tea. I don't know. Listen. This is the name of it, but so cute. Um, they had like a little special going on, so I bought um, the package deal. Um, this one um, tastes very nice, so um, it is very refreshing. Also has a very like relaxing feel to it and stuff. Um, see, it's the same kind of feel that you would get if you uh, were drinking like a regular champagne. I mean, not champagne, like a regular wine or something like that. So it's very good. Um, has a very nice smell to it. It's very, um, it's very refreshing. It just gives you that like relaxing, chill feel like after like a long day. So, so good. Has some nice fizz to it and things like that. So, um, this is not sponsored. Um, I was just basically looking for different things to like try as I'm like on this like keto journey, and I came across this brand. So, give it a try. Um, especially for you individuals who are maybe looking for something like non-alcoholic, maybe trying to like ease up on the alcohol and things like that. This might be something you want to look into. So they have three different flavors. Um, they have, um, another one, I think it has like lemon and then, um, there's like a, a lemon flavor and, and there's another flavor I can't even remember, but, um, it's called De Soleil. Check it out if you want to check it out. Um, and it's pretty nice so i had to pour me some i'm about to say some tea some wine not alcoholic wine but i had to pour me a little drink for this tea between megan and tori it's been going on for like so long hopefully um this will be the end of it the trial supposed to go on um in the clip um, with the uh, academics in Milagro, they have more that they discuss um, um, in this clip. Uh, in in the clip, um, in the um, chat um, interview conversation was like it's over in like an hour long. I only showed you like a snippet. Um, one of the things she talked about said that this um, academic said the case was supposed to go on for like ten to fourteen days, but um, Milagro said that this will I think this will probably do like five to seven days. So possibly before the week is over this case will be done hopefully it's done and over we we'll don't have to hear nothing about it because this is this case has been drawn on for so so long and the more of the story that um Milagros was talking about that um uh came out of the court proceeding is that this basically was all over jealousy um uh, simply put Megan was um, allegedly supposed to be snaking behind her friend's back, uh, talking to the dudes that she's talking to. Um, and clearly she must've got jealous that, um, that was, uh, what was taking place, which is so sad. Um, and because if she, had, she had no, even if that was true, we've heard cases of like this all the time, whether it's friends or, or, I mean, celebrities or no celebrity celebrities, you have no business going behind your friend's back 
dealing with anybody that they're dealing with, especially if they're, especially if they're, it's like something like that's current. I mean, I know some people say, okay, all bets are off if like the relationship is over and things like that, you know, the, it's free for all. But like, if that's supposed to be your best friend and well, apparently Megan and Kelsey supposed to be best friends from like school, you have no business talking to your friend's friends. I mean, your friend's man. Like, I don't care what's going on. And clearly these individuals uh, was more interested in Kelsey than they was in Meg. Also, um, as the academics and Milagros was saying, is that in, re in regards to Tori, Tori was telling Meg one thing about not only wanted uh, you, I was only trying to get to you through your friend or something like that. And then he was telling Kelsey, and uh, not only really want you, Kelsey, I really want like he. So he was inciting things between the two girls, hence them having envy against one another. And it was brought out before the case, uh, and now uh, during the court proceedings that they was, you know. Uh, uh, was fighting amongst themselves, you know, at the, at the, you know, at the scene and stuff like that. So it's just very unfortunate. Find your own man, leave your friends, men's alone. That goes for men too. Men, men be doing it too with the ladies and stuff like that. I find your own people, leave your people's like significant others, partners who uh, side pieces, whatever, leave them alone. Okay, do what you need to do and just move on because had Megan not be talking to anybody that Kelsey was dealing with, we wouldn't be in a situation today and, and Tori wouldn't be facing, I think it says something like 24, 25 years and possible deportation back to Canada, which that was shocking news to me. I thought he was American citizen or at least had some type of visa or something like that to the US, but that's not the situation. Um, he's literally looking at deportation back to Canada um, and uh, there's no more Tory Lanes if the if the verdict does um, if the verdict goes in Megan's favor. So, anyways, um, that being said, there's that that's going in the news. Um, and wait, I need to put my cup down because I'm holding this camera. Wait, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so now that my hands are free, I can do a little bit more. Uh, you know, I can move a little bit more okay so now we're uh, talking now that talking about that with the mega and tori thing and the whole kelsey and that whole bit now we're talking about um now in the news they're talking about uh puff um p diddy brother love whatever he wants to be called on this good tuesday or whatever it is now he has a um an alleged there is no alleged because he he already told what it is so now he has a new baby that's out um, that is born. He did not uh, disclose the baby mother, but leave it up to the internet police. They found who she is. And she is an Asian girl who's a cyber uh, works in cyber security or something like that. Um, um, and she's a very pretty girl. But now because of this whole news release and this whole breaking news of uh, uh, Puff and this new baby, of course, young Miami would be getting the brunt of all this. And I really feel bad for her. I don't know if I really feel bad for her because any woman that knows, I don't care how much this man, money a man makes, period. I don't care. A woman that knows that a man is dealing with multiple women and she still goes along for it. I don't know if we should feel sorry for her. Not that she's asking us to feel sorry for her, but it's just like, at what point do you have a little bit more respect for yourself or look at, uh, put more higher value on yourself uh, to say, nah, I don't care if you're a billionaire or not. I don't care what opportunities you can afford me. I, I don't care what doors you could get me in. Um, I'm just not interested and dealing with you, dealing with all these women, because it looks very crazy and sloppy. I mean, not only he was dealing with her, um, uh, he has his new baby mother, um, uh, uh, who uh, is the cybersecurity. Then he had this other Asian girl, her name is Gina, that he was messing with on the side, um, that got uh, uh, um, blasted out. Also, he um, was is dealing with another Asian woman. Her name is Daphne, which is a 50 cents baby mother, and also, she was dating, I think she was dating Nelly or something like that. So clearly, okay, clearly, 
Puff must be in his Asian phase right now because clearly all the girls that he, besides Young Miami, all the girls that he's chatting up has a oriental type of a look, feel, vibe. So that must be the vibe that he's on right now. Um, so I don't know if that was said right with me to be sitting here chatting up somebody that... I, I just I has me around just to like have me around. I don't know the I don't know what the purpose is to have young Miami around. Clearly, he can have any female that he wants. I don't know if he's even though he made the song and he's fully healed from Cassie, but still, I, I mean, I just I just for me that wouldn't be the move. Um, if I had all the things that you know. Um, young Miami had going on and stuff like that. I don't know if I waste my time. Um, but also one of the things that really kind of um, makes me question what her actual motive is, is that um, Young Miami made it known that even though her and Diddy are like dating and stuff like that, they're not like exclusive or whatever it is. But she's made it, she also kind of like made it known is that She's not dating anyone else. So how um can I don't how can you live this persona and not be also dating as well? I'm not too I'm not too for sure. Um Yeah, I'm not too for sure if that how that really sounds to be fair. Um if you're someone that's talking about city girls this and that or whatever it is, then Maybe you should also be showing girls how to be a city girl and living up to a full city girl, like standard persona or whatever it is. I don't, me personally, as I see all the city girl conversation and stuff like that, I don't think a city girl is exclusive to like one guy. I don't know. That kind of like doesn't make any sense. There's a lady that I've been following for quite a while, I came across her on Clubhouse, um, and one of the things that she talks about is that a woman should have options and choices um, as well, um, uh, just like um, men do uh, have rosters, um, that a woman should uh, date men um, that she aligns with and should have, um, should feel open enough to like, the, uh, sorry, I'm kind of like breaking up my my talk because there's emails. I have like emails and stuff like coming off the wazoo off my uh, computer. But anyways, the point of the matter is, is that women, uh, women should also feel like they should have options. Women also, and when dating, you should have a roster of men who you feel like uh, that can protect and revive for you. And those who you, uh, want to talk to and date, just like men have multiple women that they talk to and they date and chat with and stuff like that. Women should have the same thing too. So me personally, me personally, for when I think about the persona of a Carisha or a Young Miami, the way uh, you know they talk and how they go about things, is that yeah, you might want to do the city girl thing and all that kind of stuff, but also you got a rolodex of men and whoever it is that you have in your in, uh, in your phone that you can talk to whoever you want to talk to. You're not sitting around here waiting on one man going around him hand and foot or uh, stuff like that. When he when he calls, you pick up and you at his beck and call and you do whatever he wants. Nah, he he he's your one of your options and he moves when you tell him to move or y'all just see each other whenever y'all see each other. So I don't know. Um, I, it's a very interesting situation, dynamic that's going on between them two. I found it's very, very funny and interesting about this new develop, uh, development with, uh, the new addition to Puff's, um, family. I didn't know. I didn't even think that I was, uh, I was watching a video and, and they were saying that, um, uh, Diddy's actually I was reading the Daily Mail article and they were saying how, um, it was shocking news to everyone that Diddy announces a new kid because Diddy's in his 50s. I didn't even think Diddy was still interested and wanted to pre uh, uh, procreate. Now, 
I think that I heard that this probably was like an oops baby. Um, at one point they said that she was like his massage therapist or something like that, but I don't know. Not to say she, she's not. I mean, just because you're cyber secure, you work in cyber security or have one occupation don't mean you don't have other streams of income. So, I mean, she possibly could have been a massage therapist, you know, because that might be something that she enjoys. I don't know. Cyber security does make her sound a little bit more like elite, a little bit more astute or whatever it is. So, but anyways, I don't know. Hopefully they'll figure out that situation and um, Miami will come across someone that really wants to like value her the way she wants to be valued and utilize her, you know, have more respect for her and her time and just her as a um, as a host, I don't know. Anyways, I don't want to make this video too long chatting away, but yeah, those are some of the things that has came across, um, the timeline that I found very interesting. I mean, there's more things in the news. I mean, Kanye West is doing his Kanye West thing. I think Kanye West is having some bit of an awakening. I don't know what this awakening, um, is all about, but hopefully he figures it out and comes off, um, comes out off on the other side. Um, on in a positive manner. Also, um, Derek Jackson, his whole thing during our Basel, he's been exposed over the weekend um, in regards to uh, him being seen canoodling with some girl um, at our Basel. Allegedly, he's supposed to have been still married, working out with his wife, but uh, uh, but. Uh, we see that that probably is not that it, uh, that's probably not what's really going on but he put out a statement said them and his wife was getting a divorce um they figured out through counseling coaching blah blah, blah this and that come to a epiphany whatever that they're not meant to be and they're going to just go their separate ways um and they filed for divorce earlier this year through some research, some folks uh, noticed that there's no divorce papers filed in Texas at all. That's where they ain't from in Texas. There's no divorce papers filed. So I don't know what's going on with that. And she, the wife, had uh, posted a video uh, this earlier this year, sometime this year, doing a, a having a whole rant, basically. So I don't know. Hopefully all these people will figure it out. It's a lot going on with dating relationship right now as we come to the tail end of 2022 and i just hope and pray that 2023 is better for everyone people get a clue about what's going on be more authentic about themselves and the individuals that they they engage with um and that we can just all uh have our core um like people around us that are there for us and we can just learn how to love again and I don't know just find our purpose and see what's going on that's one of my goals for 2023 purpose and see what's going on but anyways that's enough of my rant thank you guys for watching make sure you click the bell notification so you can keep on keep up with what's going on with me make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel I'm trying to post more videos for the rest of December uh, I kind of lost my little footing for a couple of days but i'm going to keep at it and end this month off strong so um there's that um and i look forward to seeing you guys in another video and that is me so i'll see you later peace out